Next up on Howler for an Hour, we have Inertial Drift. Now some of you guys might remember, I played the demo of this. And uh, I liked it, and so I got a full key for it. I actually got the Switch version this time around. Mostly because uh, I was collect I, I, I was asking for review keys uh, for this, as well as a few other games, back when I was still on my old PC. So I requested a few non-PC games just to make sure they ran fine. At this point, I have the new PC. It would have been fine to have this on the new PC, but whatever. Switch version works too, right? But uh, that intro was pretty slick. Actually, kind of reminds me a little bit of Ridge Racer uh, Type 4 for PS1. A little bit. Kind of has that slick feel. Anyways, I always like I like the atmosphere of this racing game. I'm not really huge into racing games, admittedly. At least not when they're not kart racers or such. But at the same time, there are certain racing games that really have just such a great presentation that I do care a lot about them. I think this is the same intro as with the demo, but... Ah, a new face! Let me guess. You want to learn how to drift. I'm sure you're familiar with the basics. Steering, throttle, brakes... Those are all important, but if you want to master the cars, you'll need one more thing. The drift stick. With the drift stick, you can directly control your car's drift angle, allowing for precise quartering. You know, it probably makes more sense to show you. Come with me. Oh, don't worry about crashing into each other. All cars have phase shift impact prevention system fitted. So you just focus on your line. All right, let's go. Here's the thing about this game. You can't really steer that much. You have to drift. It's it's kind of, you know uh it's like a, it's kind of like having a drag racing car. Those cars are designed to go really fast in a straight line, but they can't turn for shit. I mean that all your turning basically comes from drifting in this game. It's been a little while since I played the demo, so it's gonna take me a bit to get the hang of it. Now, in the demo, there was only, like, two stages, so I perfected my drifting and got the golds on it. I'm not going to worry about that in this in this Haller run. So this is the full game. I'm more interested in seeing the new stages rather than get perfect scores, so... Just keep that in mind as I play. I simply got perfect scores to the demo because the demo didn't have that much content to go through, so I figured I may as well. Not bad for your first run. A few more laps and you'll have the basics down. It's only the beginning, though. Every car is different and requires its own special techniques. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to this one. Because, uh, I remember, there's three cars, I think, for the demo. And while I did manage to get golds of all of them, there are definitely... I definitely think I preferred the first car, and the other two were like, holy shit. <laughs> it took a while to figure out, and I didn't really like them that much, ultimately. Hey, they were, they were just more complex. They were not bad cars, though. There's lots to learn. Let's get out there, absorb everything you can, find the style that fits you best. I promise I'll keep the serious stuff to a minimum. So, now that we actually have story mode, let's check it out. 
I'm very intrigued. If there are new ones, you could check them out. I'll, if there's completely new cars, I'll check them out if I get access. I got the drinks. So, it was iced coffee for Ibba. Nice, thanks, Ada. Yep, I've never heard the name Ibba. Peach iced tea for Viv, right? Of course, they obviously the one and only contender in iced drinks. But not of tea. My green tea wins hands down, hot or cold. Which leaves the milk for Edward. Gulp, gulp, gulp. <laughs> ah, that hits the spot. Cheers, Ada. So, folks, are we driving this evening or what? Hmm, not sure I have the time tonight. Sorry, Edward. Ah, come on. We haven't been out in ages. Yeah, but we're all kind of busy at the moment. Summer Grand Prix is coming up soon, so I really need to focus on practice. Can't wait to see your race this year, Viv. You're gonna win right. No one is, no one else is as fast as you. Heh, <laughs> I'll certainly try. Are the rest of you thinking of entering? Totally. No way I would have missed the chance, this chance again. I'm taking it seriously this year. Even have a new car coming in to help me up my game. I'm not sure. Think I'd be good enough to enter this year? Definitely. It's a great motivator to improve your driving, too. How about you, Edward? Are you gonna join us? Nah, I don't know. I don't think it's for me. I like driving, but things like that are too stressful. It's no fun. The Grand Prix takes place over multiple tracks, right? Why don't we all go on a road trip together and check them out? That way we can practice and still get a drive together. It's a great idea, Ada. I think we'd all get something for checking out the competition each track, too. Nah, I just want to drive, guys. Not study lines and apexes and pedal techniques. Come on, Edward. How else are we going to get on time or get time on track together? It'll only be a chore if you make it one. Just think of it as an opportunity to drive in a bunch of new places with your friends. What more could you want? Eh, fine then. I guess I could take it along. I'm going to do my own thing, though, okay? Let's settle, then. Woo, road tip. Trip. <laughs> Ryan's meh. Yeah, Ryan's there. So our car options. We can't choose Viv. Nimble or responsive? Yeah, low difficulty. Low top speed, though. That usually works out for me, though. Especially for all the turns. So I believe these vehicles are the ones we had access to before. Um... I generally find that in a racing game, if there's a lot of twists and turns, I will do better with high acceleration than with high top speed. High acceleration and turning usually benefits me more than a top speed that maxes out. <laughs> high top speed is great for those that are very skilled at uh, navigating, though. Because if you can keep that speed up, then the top speed is definitely the best option. Ready to have some fun? Car is all set up and the track is clear. You should go out and get some practice laps in. The air sounds good, but the right yeah, the right is kind of there. It's not really needed. <laughs> Practice? It's already starting to sound too much like hard work. I'm still not sure about this whole thing. Come on, it'll be fun. You've been looking for an opportunity to get some track time, right? Everyone will be out practicing for the Summer Grand Prix. Who cares about the Grand Prix? I don't want serious stuff like that to ruin our fun. I think the problem with the dialogue is we're repeating the same line. We've, we've heard like five or six times that Edward doesn't care about racing the Grand Prix. But it keeps getting brought up over and over again, which is just kind of dragging the story along. I barely had a chance to drive my car yet. I just want to mess about and enjoy it. Yeah, then do that. Let's stop talking about it. Okay, well, messing around sounds fine to me. Let's get you out there and see what you got. I'll give you some tips. I promise I'll keep the serious stuff to a minimum. You literally... Somebody else said that. Uh, the tutorial guy said that. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Right over. Looks like we have to unlock... So so we never had anything but time attack in the uh, demo. Looks like there is an actual race, but we don't can't unlock it just yet. I do remember this course, though. I mean, I, I don't remember it to, like the back of my hand, but I do remember this course. Like the blind turn here. Yep. It's not too bad, but it is there. And this turn's really harsh. This game definitely handles drifting differently 
than drifting in most games. In most games, you need a particular sort of momentum built up to drift, but in this, you just literally press a stick, the right stick, and you start drifting. You just instant drift. You don't have to set up for a drift, you can just do it. So, so it's less about setting up the momentum for the drift, and more about setting up your positioning and drifting just the right amount so as not to waste too much of your speed. Because obviously, the more you drift, the more speed you lose. But the, if you don't drift, you're going to crash, and that makes you lose more speed yet, so... It's better to overdrift than underdrift, definitely. So if you want to get those perfect times, definitely requires you to... I messed that turn up and set up right. If you want to get the best times, you got to make sure you drift just the right amount. And make sure you just turn into corners and stuff. You can, like, really shallow turns. Try not to drift them. Try just to go into them. Like, like here, I didn't drift there, for instance. Or there. Though turning does affect your drift angle. So like if I'm turning, if I'm slightly turning into a turn and then drifted, I do a better turn with the drift, basically. It's also about knowing when to start your drift. Definitely won't be my best lap, that's fine. That being said, oh, that being said, while I was complaining about my speeds, I just noticed that gold was 106 and I never got over 106 on any of those laps. So this is interesting. Now this might have been in the demo and I never knew, but I guess I guess I still carried over my some of my skill for the demo because uh, one thing I remember for the demo. So you get so there's three laps for a time trial. If you get at least one of those laps under a certain metal time then you get that medal. So, if I got 108, 109, and 105, I would have still gotten the gold, because one of those laps would have been under 106. But it appears that since all of my laps were under the gold time, I got a platinum. Which I did not know existed. It probably existed in the demo, I probably just never did it. You see me out there? That was so cool. That wall was coming up fast, but I drifted hard. The tires were squealing, I was barely holding on, but I made it. Kicked a big pile of leaves, and I powered right out of the corner. It was epic. I saw you did great. Seems you're getting the hang of the, the car already. You should try racing Esme next. She's about your level. Pretty sure I saw her around here somewhere. Uh, race? I don't know. Seems like a lot of pressure. Edward, stop being a stick on the mind. Just play the fucking game. <laughs> you're not afraid of losing, are you? Thought you were taking this seriously. It's not like that. I just don't feel ready. Drive is ten times better when you're out there with someone else. You should give it a go. I guess you could try racing her ghost first. How's that sound? Okay. Guess I can give it a shot. Alright. Plan is a secret medal for exceptional performances. Okay, Zriha. Um, thank you. Are you, uh... Have you played this game a lot? Well, clearly I carried over some of my demo skills, because... Kind of just one shot of the plat, which I'm totally fine with. <laughs> don't, ex don't expect that performance, though, on other courses, because this is definitely the easiest course. I, I think there was a second course in the demo, and that was, uh... I mean, I, I managed to get golds on it, but man, that course was a doozy. Now uh, she'll read the chat after this race. Is this a one lap ghost race or is it multiple la It's multiple laps. Okay. Alright then. Oh, 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 nope. Stay, stay back. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess I did it. I thought it was multiple laps, but alright. 
Yep, quite a bit. I'm one bit story away from 100% of the game. Good to see some stream coming from around. Honestly, when I played the demo, I was like, this is pretty slick. I like it. The presentation's really nice. Like, visually, I really dig it. Admittedly, I wish I had gotten the PC key for this rather than a Switch key. Because I think the Switch version is a bit... It might be frame locked and it might... to 30 FPS, I can't quite tell. Um, also, I think the visuals are pro would probably... The visuals would look better if I was on PC right now. But I got this as a Switch key because I was on a weaker computer at the time. But I have a more powerful one, so I could have totally handled it. <laughs> and better fidelity. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. I just saw you out on the track. Looked like you were doing great. Thanks. I'm having fun. I'm glad I came along. Show us the way the ghost you were racing would lift off the throttle before quarters? Eh, not really. No, I didn't notice either. It's interesting. I don't think your car is fast enough to make that necessary. If she kept accelerating, she would carry more speed and turn harder. Y'all re read very much too much into things. How are you supposed to have any fun if you're already studying everything? But I enjoy it. Studying is how other people other how other people drive is fun. Anyway, my point was, if you're going to race S me, just keep the accelerator down. Now that I could do. Uh wonder if it gets a little boost to let off the accelerator. Haven't checked. Hey Edward! Heard you're looking for someone to race? I've only just started myself, but I'll give my best shot if you're game. Let me know when you're done practicing, we can hit the track. I... Huh, the racing line has... I, I really... I only now notice the racing line's kind of animated. Oh. We don't collide, okay, that's interesting. You smashed that! Actually, I didn't. If I smashed that, I would have hit a guardrail. Like that. <laughs> However, she smashed that. As far as I can tell, she did make an impact. Wow, you're much faster than me. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> So what's the difference between ghost racing and actual racing if you still face through their car? I figure the difference between a ghost race and an actual race would be, well, you could collide and you'd have to like navigate cores around the other cars. But if they're intangible, then what's the difference between a ghost race and a race race? Well, how'd you do that? I drifted. <laughs> I don't know. It's just pretty simple. But her dialogue is going to throw me off and cause me to crash to a wall. I'm like going to try to read it at the wrong time and just like, oh well, you know. Crash. Oh, nope, I missed it. Just barely. Yeah, I like how I immediately picked up my instincts from the uh, demo. Because I did, I, I did, I mean, I didn't platinum the demo, admittedly, but I definitely worked very hard to learn each of the three cars of the demo. I guess some of that carries over now, because I'm, like, immediately remembering how to play. <coughs> At least with this car. I think the other cars would take a little bit longer to remember, because, God, I don't like, the, I don't know. I'll stick with a nice accelerating car, thank you very much. I always, in racing games, I always prefer acceleration over top speed. Because I'm a wuss, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just because I'm a caution, cautionary driver. Bump. I don't care if I do little bumps. It's not a big deal. Maybe she's talking to herself. Maybe she's like trying to hype herself out. Like, wow, that turn was amazing. Good job, me. You did that turn great. <laughs> no, no, no. I was racing her ghost in the previous ghost race. I wasn't racing my own ghost. 
the game actually stated that. So I was racing her ghost, and then I raced her, and I faced through her car like she's a. Oh, there you are. Well, she took a while to show up. <laughs> that was crazy. It's so different racing against an actual person. How many seconds behind was she? Like, I was talking for at least 15 seconds there before she showed up. You're so fast. Are you sure this is your first time racing? I'm going to keep practicing. Don't expect it to be easy next time. Picking things up real fast. I'm impressed. We might make a legendary race review yet. Nah, I doubt it. Like I told Viv, I'm just messing around. Ha, we'll see. I think before long you'll be chasing the perfect lap just like the rest of us. We kinda already did that. I got a platinum, dude. Challenge mode. Cool. So, oh yeah, let's see here. So there's at least five... I wonder how many stages there are. How many tracks there are. 10 to 15. Wasn't paying attention. I guess a ghost in their universe to record best lap. I guess so. While well, racing the actual version would see variants, the ghost would be consistent, probably? I don't know. It's still kind of weird, though, that the race is... Like, I, I was hoping for collisions, because that actually adds an element of strategy. Like, how do I how do I get around the other car, you know? But honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I, I hope that when it comes to the Grand Prix, you actually have, like, seven other cars or something to deal with, and you actually can collide. Because collisions are part of the nuance of a racing game, I feel like. How do I navigate not only the track, but the other racers as well, you know? Anyways, City Skylink. This is actually a new track. So I believe the demo had Lakeside Loop and Sunset Sea Circuit. City Skylink is a completely new stage. I don't know anything about this one. All right, who could I race here? Whoa there, Edward. You should probably get some practice in first. Practice is boring. Plus, didn't you say racing other people is the best way to, way to learn? Racing other people is important, but so is understanding the layout of a new track. The track has much tired corners that you have to break for. Actually, remember how much trouble the demo I had with Sunset Loop? Seeing it as the fourth track down kind of makes it clear that it was not meant to be the second track after the first one. In other words, the demo presented a, a, a the first track and the fourth track in this in this list. Which explains why the fourth track felt like such a leap of difficulty, because we missed tracks two and three in between. The drivers here know this place inside out, and we'll leave you we'll leave you in the dust. Heh. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll introduce you to Talison. After that, you can practice or jump right into the race. It's up to you. Okay. So you're on a race, huh? My goal is to one take take Bat Batista's place with the fastest racer on these streets. Who the hell is that? I don't intend to lose the outsiders or amateurs. Don't worry, I'm not here to take your spot or anything. I just drive for fun. Disappointing. I was hoping for a challenge. Let's get this over quickly then. I know, a duel will be perfect. We'll see how long you can keep up with me. Alright, well, I'm gonna. Oh. I guess I'll just go into it, sure. Wait, the time attack's the last thing here. That's weird. I love your car. It's green. Wait, wasn't it yellow before? Oh, wait, it's just green because of the lights. All right, what was this course got for us? I wonder if you can get a drift off of him. Uh, he's very fast. Don't worry, I'll catch up. I mean, I don't know the course, but I'll catch up. Oh god, that got tighter than I thought. Okay. Ah, uh, that's those, those are the most annoying turns in a in a uh, in a racing game. The turn that starts off shallow and then seems to end and then it goes sharp all of a sudden. I, those track that's basically just like a trick. Oof, ow. That's okay. I'm learning the track, so. Oh, that's real sharp. Might have to slow down for that one. Does it seem like he got an unfair head start? By the way, to anyone. Kind of feels like he did. Could be in my imagination, but... Yeah, I might actually have to let off the accelerator for some of these. Like that one. Which I did let off the accelerator and still crashed. Okay. This car seems to be just generally faster, yeah. Kind of an escalation of difficulty. 
Ah, uh, the turn that never ends. All right, uh, that was there was the loop on that. It's kind of weird. Uh, you know, like we saw a map of the track before we played it, but uh, it'd be nice if there was a little map in the corner. That would be actually exceptionally helpful. Yeah, I lost. So let's restart. <laughs> oh, there's no restart option. What? Actually, hold on a minute. Okay, there is no map option. Okay, just checking. But here, no. No, let's turn off the motion blur. That never helps me any. Oddly enough, there was definitely a restart in the demo. N none here, though. Just gotta take the L. No map. You have to learn the tracks. That's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll do that duel again, I suppose. How was it out there? Hard. It wasn't like last time. This track is scary. The walls are so close. Maybe it was right at the start. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. Want to give up already? Come on, you got talent. Don't waste it. Just gotta put in the laps. Even top racers need time to learn a track. Get out of there again. Fall Talisman's ghost, and I guarantee your hard work will pay off. I guess. I haven't given much time yet. Alright, I'll give it another go. I'm gonna show Talisman what I'm really made of. I mean, I can learn the tracks. It's just kind of nice to... Huh, she's still unlocked, even... No, I'm just gonna keep dueling until I win. Skip. Or at least until I'm in the track. One, whatever happens first. But honestly, I could also learn the track by watching what he does. Like, I see him breaking- why did he break there, actually? That didn't need a break, this does, though. Yeah, the thing about it is if you break during a drift, you can drift a lot harder. It does cost you speed, but it's worth it sometimes. Like there. And there. I remember that. You notice how I am keeping a little bit better pace while doing that. Okay. Still? Okay, fine. I definitely could do the brake turns better, but I could do them worse too, so whatever. Like I said, I'm learning. Hi. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's got higher top speed, though. I mean, my advantage is the quarters with him. As much as they can be scary, my advantage is definitely with the quarters. Why am I getting points way slower than him, by the way? That seems a little unreasonable. I guess it's distance space, isn't it? Hmm, that's actually kind of interesting. I need to use my acceleration to my advantage, basically. Whoops, forgot about that turn. Being a little sharper than I thought it was. I'm definitely continu continuing better this time, though. He's still gonna probably win, but, you know, I'm learning. God, that turn. That one particular turn is just such a jerk. <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah, it is better to close the air quarter. Just sometimes I forget to set up. This loop de loop's like my best friend, though, I've noticed. I definitely gained a little bit on him there. Unfortunately, there's a straightaway right after, so he gains on me again. He only takes that sharp for some reason. Not sure why. Whoops. Oh, that didn't really affect my speed for some reason. There's only one scripted loss in the game. Some rather crazy evidence was the game has even got the win on that one. So there is a scripted loss? Huh. And it's not this one. No, it's clearly not a scripted loss. Oops, I didn't mean to... Well, I, I guess I could ghost battle, but... Ah, sure, why not? It automatically selects the next option for some reason. I don't really like that, but okay. Why are the why are the two? Is the ghost easier or harder? Not actually sure. Oh, I see. It's my ghost and his ghost. I get it. At least there's some sharp torters here, I have to say. How did he catch up so quick? Ah, well. Yeah, it is about... Honestly, a lot of this is set up. Just sometimes I forget which direction a quarter is coming. If that makes sense. When the road goes up and down with hills, sometimes it can be difficult to see where the quarter is actually going to be taken from. Crow said it. Crow said it up there. There. Oh. Whoops! Turned too much. How are you finding the track so far? It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, those tight cars are crazy. Racing is kind of stressful, but flying Talson's ghost helped. I also kind of beat him there. That ghost, at least. Talson always slams at the brake in the middle of corners. I thought you were supposed to break before a corner. Oh, interesting. That probably shifts the balance of the car, allowing for a greater drift angle. That helped with those tight hairpins. You should give it a go if you haven't already. Hmm. Middle of a turn? Didn't think of trying that, but okay. So I think I've done that accidentally. I want to prove Talison that I'm just as good as they are. Come on, we've got this. I did actually beat that ghost though, technically, yeah. Let's go back to the duel. I'm a little more confident now. It's all about learning the track. That's all. I still haven't fully learned it, but I'm getting, you know, the more you race it, the more you learn it, so. I don't need to learn it completely. I just need to learn it enough to beat him. Not that corner I need to be worried about. It's yeah, not that one either. It's okay to overbreak a bit though. It's not really a big deal. This corner is not the problem. It's this corner. There we go. That could have been worse, actually. Whoop! Set up. I, a little bit of a ding there, that's alright. I'll take. Okay, then I've got to lose this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, no, I'm actually doing okay. Somehow. Hmm. Again, the torters may be tricky. But they're also my best friend against this guy, because this guy's best on straightaways, so. I could take advantage of that. Oh, 
the water fucks up your drift. I was wondering about that. I mean, I'm not playing perfectly, but I am ahead of him. Not for not forever, I'm sure, but. You can definitely see me having learned the track a bit, though. Really like this music, though. It definitely makes me think of Ridge Racer R4. Which is a compliment towards the game, because that's like my favorite racing soundtrack, honestly. Oops, I bumped. The car, these cars turn so poorly about drifting that I, I sometimes underestimate that. Yeah, see, he passed me because that's a nice straightaway. It's bound to happen. It's fine. Though I'm not giving him a huge lead. It's point space. I could take it. Bye. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Okay, it's better to lose a little speed for breaking at the wrong time. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That's okay. I can, I can find. I'm fine. He's going to probably overtake me briefly here, though. Eh, maybe not. Again, he really sucks with acceleration. He's got great speed. But the corners are more of an enemy to him than they are to me. It's really better if I over oversteer a corner than understeer it, though. Absolutely. Better to break and lose the speed than it is to crash to a wall. Also, I think here the trick is to... There we go. Oh, wait, that one's not so tight, tight actually. He always overbreaks that one, so it, it trained me to think that corner was really tight, but it's really not. Alright, and he's gonna overtake me again, as is normal. I'm just gonna be peaceful about it, because it doesn't really matter. And it also doesn't last very long. <laughs> Even a small turn seems to give me an advantage over him. Assuming I don't crash into the wall. Which I just lost the advantage because I did so, but that's fine. Again, he's got a long way to go, so I can make a few mistakes. Apparently this has a not three lap... I wonder if it's just... Okay, so I can win by maximum score, I can win by laps, I guess. I don't think I'm going to win by lap. I think I'm going to win by laps and not by score. Unless I happen to do pretty good over here, but... Which probably is not as good, but whatever. Winning's winning. Oh, he overturned there. I won. That was an amateur mistake letting me pass like that, you say as you lose. Yeah, good race. That was tough. My preparations weren't enough. Looks like I better get back to practicing. I'll be ready for you next time, and no amount of luck will save you then. How was it out there? I won.
but still, it was hard. It wasn't like last time. Okay, this is more or less the same dialogue. Only barely different. <laughs> Kind of a shame that he acts, acts the same after winning. All right, it's time attack. Sure. I think you guys are doing some time trials. Are you gonna join us? Sure, I guess. I want to prove to Talos that I'm just as good as they are. Come on, we got this. We win by score regardless. If he finishes ahead of you on lap three, you still win for having the higher score. Yeah. Prove that, which is good. I guess we'll see how good I am in general then now. Probably break a little more than I needed to there. Was that was gold time? It wasn't a great gold time, but it was gold time. So, guess you know it's a few seconds difference. Not too bad. Sorry I can't really read the chat while racing. I think you guys can understand. I oh, know a bump. Oh well. I'm just doing everything in my power to not bump. It's kind of what I've been attempting to achieve, but... I'd rather break too much than bump. I think it, I think breaking too much is less of a detriment. I see the point of a hard drift. You, 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 it's a harsher deceleration, but for a less period. It's for a smaller period of time. Basically, wow, two point oh two milliseconds difference between my laps. That's strangely consistent. <laughs> Braked a little late there, but I didn't crash.
Oops, I bumped. I bumped the inside for once. Drifting is quite powerful. If I could bump the insides, it turns that are easy to bump the outsides of. That indicates how good the drifting is. If you could bump the opposite side of the walls. <laughs> I just realized there's like suddenly loud seagull right there for some reason. I wonder why that is. I guess this is by the sea or something. The city, I mean. Oh, I really slowed down there. I guess we're going uphill, though, so it's a little easier to slow down when braking on a hill. I'd assume. Slightly worse lap, but... Huh. That was all under... Oh. Okay, so Platinum isn't about getting three golds. Platinum must be a secret time. Where you have to get a certain... Like, really super low to get a Platinum. Like, a secret... It's probably just... I have to get a really super low... Uh, time on one of the laps... To get a Platinum. Like here, I wouldn't be surprised if the Platinum was like 150, maybe? But uh, who knows? Who knows? Because it doesn't actually list it. <laughs> kind of wish it did list it, though. I get it's kind of a secret, but... I so saw you're driving out there. I suppose I should be impressed. You are improving quickly. Thanks. I learned a lot from racing you. Our goals may not be the same, but I think we both love driving in our own ways. I can respect that. I also saw your friend Ada. Is already driving both Riku and Jay. Hope I can reach that level of skill soon. Anyway, if you want to race again, let me know. I'm sure I can make space in my schedule. Platinum is probably being the dev's time. Maybe. I'll get it on the first track, so I'm happy enough about that. Seems you're one over Telson. That's no mean feat. Great driving out there, too. Didn't I tell you? Learning from others can be fun. It's more stressful than fun for a while there. But I guess you're right. I did learn a lot. It was nice to have Telson acknowledge the work I put in. Next time, I'm just going to make sure I practice properly first. Sounds good to me. I do like the character art, but the story is a little bit on the eh, whatever side. Let's see something real fast. What? Oh. Huh, what's it loading? I was just trying to access a menu. Interesting. I guess it just has to... I, I, I'm kind of curious what the Platinum might be. Anyway, Snow Mountain Sprint. Point to point, forward direction. Oh, it's not a circuit. Okay. Fine by me. Oh god, I saw some of the turns on that map screen. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> also, hi there, kitty. I notice you, I guess. <laughs> ah, it's so cold. I think my fingers are gonna fall off. You know you have bad circulation. You should have brought your gloves. Guys, I have a friend here to think of two of us should meet. This is Samira. <laughs> Darlings, I'm so excited to meet you. We're gonna have a fabulous time. Edward, you are a fun-loving soul like myself, I gather. I have a whole different style of driving to show you, now that I now that I know you'll enjoy. It does sound good. But I'm taking things a little more seriously now, so I need to practice. Maybe later? Viv, have you corrupted him already? I was sure you were the corruptive influence, Samira. Even you must agree. He, must, he needs to learn the track first. Yeah, <laughs> suppose that's true. Definitely come and find me later, though. Okay, Edward? If you're looking for someone to challenge, then Cory is here. You should check out their ghost. You race Cory at Lakeside Loop. Aren't they way too fast for me? Not, they've not really driven other tracks before, so they're still getting used to it out here. They'll do great. Okay. Snow Trek. Mount Kirino. Totally different from Initial D's Mount Akina. I've never played Initial D, so I wouldn't even notice. Oh, oh, this is a narrow road. Oh, this is, uh, this is, oh, okay, this is like, what, that was weird. I thought I was going to hit the wall more than I did there. Narrow tracks scare me. Okay, so these are shallow turns, but on a narrow road. Got it. At least on this part. I'm just expecting, here it is. 
Oh, right, I can go through the... Okay, snow is slippery, go figure. <laughs> yeah, the sunset, the seaside, whatever, was in the demo, and it was also a narrow course, and it made me very anxious. Oh, God, that's... Oh, that tricky... The tricky fucking S turns. I like. Oh, we're gonna turn this direction. Actually, we're gonna turn this direction. Ha! Huh? It's like I hate. I hate those. Those evil turns that trick you. Eh. Eh. It's so fucking narrow. I know it's two lanes, but it feels like one lane to my brain. My fat ass car cannot fit on this course. I mean, I'm doing okay, but like, anxiety, man. <laughs> oh god, this is a sharp one. Okay. Like the off off road terrain is both good and bad. Like it slows you down, but it doesn't let you. It, it does avoid crashing, I guess, which is good. What the fuck is this turn? Ooh, ooh. Well, they we're on that part. We're on that part I saw on the map, so I'm not surprised. Oof. Uh, it's so cru- oh man, this is just mean. At least when it's point to point, it's, you don't have to lap. I'll be honest, I prefer one lap races, so I like point to point. Oh god. This doesn't feel like a place to race, it really doesn't. <laughs> feel like I'm just gonna crash through one of these brick walls and destroy one of these houses. Track looks hard, but I did okay, but... <laughs> I don't think you can play an anime. Oh, I thought Initial G had a video game. I could have sworn it did. What was that old Japanese racing game? Had your, it was an arcade machine. I thought, it was, I thought it was related to Initial G. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, fuck you. There's totally an arcade machine. I, I was right. There's multiple Initial D games. Dude, they have an initial D arcade stage five, so I, I'm. It's quite a few of those. Back for your serious practice session, I see, Edward. How'd it go? I don't know, Viv. I feel like everyone's so much faster than me. Like that ghost I beat. Way ba way faster than me. This track's so complicated. Even if I keep up with Corey, I'm worried I can't keep it all straight in my head during the race. I probably can't. But I did good enough for reaction times. It's an anime first, which invalidates what, Beerus? <laughs> We know you'll do great, you just gotta trust yourself. Anyway, here we have you're here to have fun, remember? Don't push yourself too hard. Maybe you should go drive with Samira. Maybe that'll help. Edward, I hear you need to blow off some steam, and I've got just the thing. Here's the idea. This event is about speed, it's about style. Just throw the tail of your car out there and do whatever feels right. If you aren't sure, just copy me. You get more points, the more fabulous your moves are, but don't worry about that. The poor thing is just to cut loose and above all have fun with it. Okay, style. I have no idea what my style points will be like. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm just gonna race as normal and see what my style ends up being. Oh no, crash. Crash equals bad thing for multiplayer, I guess. Okay, we even need to avoid touching the walls. That makes sense that style requires not touching the walls. Which is great to, uh, great that we're having a style race on a fucking two-lane road, though. That's real good. Dirt drop gave me- wait, did touching the dirt- oh, god damn it. Did touching the dirt give me a multiplier? That's kind of confusing, but alright. Ah! I unturned. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay, well. I know this isn't a race, but. Uh, you're still drifting? Okay. Oh god. Look, look how much she drifts! She's never not drifting. I mean, I know it's a game about drifting, but still. God, I'm crashing a lot. I think I'm getting distracted by her. I still got it. What? I got gold? Okay. I mean, there's probably a plat, but... Well, that was incredible. 
See? What did I say? No rules, no pressure. Just the road ahead and the rim of your hair. There's nothing like it. I mean, technically there were rules, because there's ways to get better style, but... Thanks for taking me out, Samira. I really needed the break. Emma thinks I have talent. I should work hard not to waste it. I've tried to learn as much as I can, but it just feels like too much at times. You know him. I may be all about style, but I like racing too. Don't let everyone know anyone else spoil that for you. Take your time and race Corey when you feel ready. Life is too short to do the things you hate. I kind of like her. Drift to show off. Fair enough. Ready to race? Hi there, Corey. Still getting to grips with this new track. But I'm not going to hold back, so you shouldn't either. I guess I'm ready. I mean, yeah. You won't know what shit. You don't won't know what hit you. All right. We're about to run out of time, but let's finish the duel first. I guess we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm playing. I'm playing relatively fine. I'm not getting all the plats, but do the plats matter? By the way, is, is, do they? Zri Hell. I have trouble saying your name. Are they just for? Are they just for? Uh, you know, showing off basically. Of course, feels so small. Uh, I don't like it. Claustrophobia! Whoops. Well, that's, the, that's the snow for me, baby. You took that core perfectly. Yeah, that's why I was in the snow, I guess. Perfect quarters equals going through the snow and breaking a snow bank or two. Wow, that's a lot of speed there. I guess it's fine. Whoop. I think it's the shallow turns that are fucking me up more than anything else. Because they just keep going. I'm anticipating the sharp ones, but the shallow turns are really throwing me off. Wow, I still win the snow even after all that turning. Okay. I'm dropping way behind. <laughs> you just noticed? <laughs> I won. <laughs> Alright then. Well, how'd it go? I pulled it out of the bag somehow. But honestly, I'm just glad it's over. I fell off so much in my head, but in the end I realized it didn't really matter if I won. You know, watching out there, Ib is right about one thing. You do have potential. But like I said, take your time, do things the way you want. Not the things others want from you. I do have to say, it's getting a little tiresome with the main character going like, I don't know, man, I kind of suck. I don't know if I'm really cut out for this. I don't really think I can go anywhere with this. I don't think I'm really, I don't think I can really do this. And meanwhile, I'm just like winning golds and stuff. So it's kind of fucking annoying in a way to hear the character constantly mope while I'm out there getting golds and platinums and being the racers. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I get he's supposed to be going through character development where like he gets confident as he goes and then he wins the Grand Prix at the end, pre at the end and he's like, you know, character development. But honestly, it's kind of annoying where it's like, I'm winning and stuff, and the character just keeps moping. <laughs> There's a car that benefits going through snow or dirt. Oh, it's like a, like a rally, like a rally beast racer. Also, you can still get 100% with the golds. Otherwise, we trade my out, hair out with Viv story mode. Fair enough. It doesn't fit what you're doing. Exactly. I don't know, man. I mean, I only like completely ace the track. I don't think that's good enough for the Grand Prix. <laughs> A main character can win an Olympus gold medal and go like, I think I suck at this. I mean, I won one gold medal, but I'm probably not going to win next next gold medal, you know, next season. I'm not going to win then. And honestly, I, while I won the gold medal, you know, I could have won two gold medals by being really cool. They probably would have given me two if I had done better. So I don't know, man. I only won one. It's not really that impressive. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> See you later, Robo. But uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop there. And I'm not just stopping there because I don't want to do Sunset Sea Circuit again because it gave me fucking nightmares when I play in the demo. 
that's not at all the reason. That being said, um, are there five core? Uh, uh, let me ask, since we have somebody who's knowledgeable about the game, uh, Zri Z Zrihel, um, are there five courses? Is this like the full list of levels right here? Or is there more than five levels? I'm kind of curious. How many, how many, how many courses are there? But this is fun, and I seem to have, it, it is interesting to me. I think you can tell if a game, if a skill-based game where you have to learn something and then, you know, kind of get used to it instinctually and stuff, if you can learn and then come back later and still have the skills, I think that's a good indicator that the game has a good flow and a good learning curve and, like, re what it requires out of you is something you can instinctually feel. That's a good demonstration. And again, I played the demo for this game, what was it, like three months ago, I'd say. And I haven't touched it since then. And I come back here and I'm doing pretty good. I remember when I played the demo originally, I, I was actually really sucking and getting a lot of like bronze and silvers and struggling uh, with the courses. But coming back after having mastered that demo and then coming back here months later, I'm playing a lot better. Uh, than I was at the start of the demo. So it's clear that I retained the skills and it clear, it's clear that this game has skills to retain. Thus, I definitely would say this game is worth your time because it's clear that this game does reward you for learning, you know? <laughs> and that learning does stay with you. So Inertial Drift is a wonderful drift-focused racing game, obviously. Um, so you say five zones, a circuit, a point to point for each, and they can be done in reverse. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, reverse tracks are really different from... Yeah, honestly, well, well, those technically, well, that technically means there's only five tracks. Reverse courses are definitely, um, completely different filling tracks. I, I, I've learned that from other racing games. So reverse tracks may as well be considered new tracks. Um, point to point versus laps. Uh, sure, fair enough. I guess. I, I guess that could be considered a new track, um, especially if the layout adjusts it in accordingly. But uh, 29th of July. So this has actually been. So it's been, it's, yeah, it's been about three months. Um, but yeah, Inertial Drift. I definitely recommend this game if you're in for a, just a fun racing experience with a little bit of its own unique style. Um, I will say the story mode's dialogue is kind of whatever, but that's fine. It's not really a big deal. The actual point of the game being the gameplay is very rock solid. So um, if I were to say one complaint, I wish there was more than five courses. I mean, yeah, reverse and point to point and lap, that's, that does have some variation. Um, but it'd be nice if there was more than five courses. That's kind of, that's kind of a small number for a racing game. Not gonna lie. Uh, I, I, but, uh, maybe if they add on more later or something, I don't know. I don't know what they're planning to do with this game, but that's like the one complaint I'd say. Maybe not enough courses, but I mostly say that because of course this feels nice. Like they, they're good to play, so I'd like more. I'd like more than five. I've typically played four of the courses. I only got through three here, but one of those courses that I hadn't gotten to, uh, I did play the demo. So only that fifth course is one I haven't played. So I can definitively say, uh, having played four of the five courses, that they're very good courses. Um, even if a couple of them make me claustrophobic. But uh, it'd be nice to see if there are a few more. But it's good to see that the tracks that do exist are very well polished. But uh, yeah, that's, that's Inertial Drift. Go pick it up if you're interested in a slick racing game.